Thank you. I'm so glad you're here. I am obsessed with this movie. I really like the movie too. And I don't really, I'm really hard on film. So yeah. What was it like filming the movie? Did you guys, because um, it's so terrifying um, to ever do or say the wrong thing. Yeah, you're um, afraid to get canceled. And this film is an incredible breath of fresh air, just finding comedy and heart in very difficult places. For sure, and I think that's what makes the film so special is because comedy is medicine, and I think that it's a really amazing way to bring on these really hard conversations. It's a really great way to bring on awareness to these conversations and for all of us to be, you know, just sensitive to our differences, accepting our differences, you know, respecting our differences. And it's every five seconds I was laughing in this movie, watching it. And I'm not gassing it up. Like, I really enjoyed this movie. It is so good, It's really good, funny. You guys. <laughs> now, okay. You're making it with Kenya Barris, who did Blackish and Grownish. I mean, yep. I think people consider him, uh, or like, I think they consider them a very uh, Hollywood royalty type of person. What, um, does it feel safer, like, when it's with someone that you really trust and respect? Absolutely. I would also imagine. Also, because I'm very apprehensive with just working right now, just grieving still, and just, you know, building a new life. So I'm very intentional on who I work with and Kenya just created a really safe space and so did Jonah. Just a really, really safe space for me to play, to be new in this environment. You know, I, I've been recently saying this is a new pool that I'm swimming in. <laughs> so Kenya, knowing him, trusting him and respecting him really helped just now, you mentioned that you've been through a lot and that it took uh, a lot to consider sort of working right now. Yeah. Um, you've been so open about it. I'm the mother of two daughters. You're the mother of two sons. Yes. And I love the way that you talk about your sons. I I'm, I'm obsessed with them. I'm forever no, changed. No, no, I'm obsessed with my kids. Yeah. They're the coolest. I love them so much. They are such a big part of why I get up in the morning and have hope and joy because they deserve so much love and joy. So they're just, they don't even know that they are my angels. And they encourage you to go back to work. My and... eldest definitely does. The little one is like, stay home, cook, and be on call for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ma'am, why do you have to go to work and why do I have to go to school? If it was up to him, we'd live on an island and just figure it out. Um, but the oldest one is like, you're going to work? You're, oh yeah. Like he's so excited for me and just, he likes to see me on TV. I think he just likes to see movement. How did you find the courage to go back to work? Cause you have been through yeah. stuff and I wonder sometimes when people's lives are forever altered, mm -hmm. how do they get up in the morning? How do they go on with their day? How do you do it? Every day is different. And so some days you don't want to, you just want to lay there. My big reason is my children um, because they do deserve a really happy mom and they deserve joy and they deserve a house that has music playing and incense going <laughs> and light coming in the windows and they deserve that. And you know, when you lose someone, you know they're on the other side wanting you to continue life as well. So I just always think about what I know Nip would want me to do and what I know my children deserve and what I deserve too. And for context, Nipsey Hussle yes. um, is someone that, you know, everyone lost um, because he passed away, but he was your person. And, mm -hmm. you know, you said comedy is medicine. Sometimes it's being able to laugh and sometimes it's being able to drudge up strength that you didn't think you had in honor of your mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm. And it's... You know, we have so many tools out here to help us. We just have to recognize what they are. Music is a big healing tool, nature, food. And those are good prompts. Yes, you know? great prompts. Like if you're feeling a certain way, yeah. like eat the thing you want to eat. <laughs> well, like, that's my issue, Drew. I eat too much of what I want to eat sometimes. Me too. Because, honey, that's, I need to slow it down. Sometimes that's what I need. Listen. And I don't, I work out. It's Look, about having grace with yourself. Balance. And it's about Whatever. Grace. I'm trying. It's about grace. Listen, 
we all have gone through stuff. Life is tough on all of us. We're all human and life is gonna life. You know what I mean? It's also about, are you gonna let life take you or are you gonna take life? And so I, and I don't mean take life, but I mean like, am take I going- it by the, you know what. <laughs> and just live it, right? Yes, exactly. absolutely. We're gonna cut to a quick commercial break, but yeah. I would love some of your suggestions because we're all looking for prompts in life of things to do or go to or be aware of. So um, will you do three to go with us yeah. um, for your suggestions? We'll be right back. I